is happening guys and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be living life as the Mandalorian himself, Pedro Pascal. I'm going to find out exactly what it takes to be a jetpack wearing, gunslinging badass. Oh, I was talking, well, sorry to interrupt mate, um, you can't actually wear a jetpack because you don't, you don't have any money. Uh, what? Alright, well, I guess I'll just, I'll be a, a gunslinging badass instead of uh, <laughs> Sorry to interrupt again. As a problem with the gunslinging as well, what? because well, you, there's laws in this country for that. You know, I mean, you can't have guns. <sighs> well, what can I do then? Uh, let's see. Oh, it says, it says here you could you could eat and train like him for the day. All right. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the video. So today we're going to be eating and training like the Mandalorian himself, Pedro Pascal. So I looked online to see if Pedro Pascal has any kind of nutrition plan that we can follow and it turns out he doesn't actually stick to one at all. Um, however, he was quizzed on his ideal food day and that's what we're going to follow today. So for breakfast, he likes to have runny eggs on toast and blueberry pancakes and lots of coffee. And I can agree with him that that is a substantial breakfast fit for a king. So we're making protein pancakes and unfortunately I didn't have any normal flour and opted to use coconut flour for this recipe and as you can see the coconut flour does not work very well with pancakes. Um, I had to use three times the amount of milk that I would normally use. We're adding in some Greek yogurt here as well. That is honestly an absolute game changer. That is a must if you want to have some nice soft fluffy pancakes. Get some Greek yogurt in there. We're mixing this up to now to try and get a nice decent consistency which is really difficult to do with the coconut flour but we've managed to achieve it or so I thought here's a little hack for you as well cooking spray use this one kilo calorie spray instead of using oils it saves you a bunch of calories and another little tip for you here if you're making blueberry pancakes drop the blueberries into the pancakes when you're cooking them and they'll cook right through the middle and then when you flip them over they'll be all juicy and beautiful now the problem with these pancakes is that the coconut flour just does not cook properly at all. If you know how to cook it properly then please let me know in the comments but I have no idea. It's my first time doing it. So it's quite an involved day, I'm really excited for you to see what we have in store. We're going to get our breakfast done and we've got a workout planned, lunch later on with some other things as well involved. Okay so breakfast is served and for breakfast Pedro Pascal likes to enjoy runny eggs on toast, lots of coffee which I can agree on with him and then blueberry pancakes. Now these blueberry pancakes turned out absolutely hideously today. <laughs> Look at this state of those things. Here's a little fun fact for you before we begin. Pedro Pascal, when he first reveals his face in The Mandalorian, has a cut over his face, and that was actually an accident on set because he walked into a beam when he came out of his trailer. Um, his face looks pretty bad, but I can say it's definitely an upgrade from the end of his Game of Thrones career. We're going to get all this down. This is going to be the pre-workout meal. We've got some special workout plan today. Eggs are done. <clears throat> Let's see if these blueberry pancakes taste as hideous as they look. I mean, the coconut flour really comes through, but it is just flour. <laughs> it's raw! I may need to try this again, actually. Coconut flour tastes incredible as the sort of base for the pancake. Okay, there's no way I'm eating any more of this. This is just like raw coconut flour and protein powder. Can you see my breath? <laughs> oh, obviously, as you can see, it is particularly cold, 
I'm going to get myself up the stairs once I finish this coffee, up the stairs, get my jumper, hat on, outside, and we'll start the workout. So I'll catch up with you then. We are out in the garden, hat is on, hoodie is on, because it is absolutely Baltic. And we're going to be running through wushu training. What is wushu training, you might ask? Well, it is a form of Chinese Kung Fu, formed in 1949. And that is the training that our good friend Pedro Pascal undertook for the role in Game of Thrones and also for The Mandalorian as well. It involves a lot of stretching, kung fu, poses, jabs, jumping about like a madman. You've seen me in my seven skills video, if you haven't watched that, go and check it out. I am already a qualified ninja, so this shouldn't be too difficult, should it? <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> Just a nice easy front split, no problem. <laughs> there is no way I'm going any lower than that. Oh! Pathetic. It's quite tough. This requires a lot more flexibility than I have to provide. I feel like I'm disgracing China with this performance. A bit. I've burst my joggies as well. <laughs> I've watched this video about 15 times now and I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> So that is the wushu training complete. That was really difficult. It's one of these ones that looks a lot easier in the video until you actually try it and realise that you are pathetic. If I had to rate my performance, it would be an F minus. However, it was really fun, really enjoyable. I've worked up quite the sweat, I've worked up quite the appetite. What I'm gonna do is get upstairs, get into the shower, get ready. Hello people, so we're back out the shower looking fresh as ever, channeling my inner Gilderoy Lockhart today. For lunch, we are gonna be having Pedro Pascal's favorite food, which is gin and oysters, apparently. So yeah, I'll catch up with you once we get into Glasgow to the crab shack. <laughs> The oysters have been honoured. One of us is very excited, and that person is holding the camera. <laughs> Oh, 
waster. Maybe you should wash it down with a sort of lime. Now you may be wondering why Alex would recommend her drink to me in such a suspicious manner and well you'd be correcting thinking this way because well to the naked eye this drink may look exactly like the aforementioned soda and lime the taste reveals something different something sinister almost because while I was enjoying breaking my oyster virginity Alex was adding a Renfrew worthy measure of gin to her glass you see alcohol is not permitted to be sold in restaurants and bars during this current pandemic and rather than roll over and accept defeats spoiling our day and failing Pedro we decided that we would improvise adapting you don't actually care, do you? Alright, well, I'll, 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 I'll just play the video then. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're back home. The oysters have been eaten. They were actually really good. I was pleasantly surprised. It was just an overload of Tabasco and vinaigrette right enough, so I couldn't really taste them, but you know what? Pretty decent. I would have them again. I think it's more of an experience rather than a food. But yeah, it was pretty decent. So anyway, time is now 7 o'clock and it's time to get into dinner. And for dinner, we're going to be making burgers and a shake. And I knew as soon as I saw this, that me and Pedro were destined to be best friends. And I knew that I was going to enjoy this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head down into the kitchen and start making dinner. It is dinner time people and I cannot wait to present this one to you because it is an absolute screamer of a recipe. So we have some chicken, some garlic, ginger, chilies, mango chutney, salt and pepper. Feel free to use regular ginger and garlic if you want, I'm just very lazy as you can see by the jars. We have some chopped coriander and some breadcrumbs as well, all going into the food processor, like so. So once they're all added it should look something like this. Then we're going to blitz this thing up and it's going to form the patty which we're going to use for the burger. This recipe is amazing, I'll leave a link in the description for it because you need to try it, it is honestly unbelievable. So then we're going to take our meat, get it onto the chopping board, give it a nice smack. It's always good to beat your meat, especially in the kitchen. Next you want to take your balls and fondle them in your hands, make sure that they are a nice shape, they don't have any lumps or abnormalities. Ladies, you can do this as well. Now these are ready to eat at the moment, if you want salmonella that is. Pan on, spray in the pan and then we're going to take both brioche buns and put them into the pan, give them a nice toast on the inside. Don't leave them in for too long otherwise oh, it's a bit burnt. It's okay, the show must go on. Take the burgers, put the burger into the pan now. Nice sizzle there, give it a good press, make sure that it's nice and flat, it'll cook evenly all the way through. And we are going to layer up the buns while that is cooking. I have some Faye yogurt, it's Faye, not Fage, even though it clearly says Fage on the tin. Put some yogurt on either side of the buns, then we're going in with some shredded Latucci for a nice base for the burger to rest on. And on top of that shredded Latucci, we are going to add some sliced cucumber and some sliced tomatoes. This is going to make one mean looking crabby patty. For the top, we're going to be adding some mango chutney, give it a nice good generous helping. Spread that out all the way around the bun. This is what our burger looks like and now we wait for the patty to cook. Now normally I would make this recipe with sweet potato fries or chips or something but I wasn't feeling that, I decided to just go for a little salad, sliced cucumber and tomato and a wee balsamic glaze to go on the top as well. Now here is the very important step, once you've cooked the burger on either side you want to take some mango chutney and add that to the top of the burger and make sure and be generous with this. And once you've added your mango chutney to the top you want to flip that burger over and that's going to create this nice caramelised mango chutney glaze on the bottom. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Once that's done Layer up your burger and realise that you've layered up the buns the wrong way around because you're an absolute dough ball. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Once you have reassembled your burger the correct way around, it should look something like this. 
and I'm sure you can agree that that is a meaty boy. Hell yes. That's enough of that. Okay, so dinner is served. This thing is an absolute beast of a burger. Can't wait to tuck into it. It's gonna be so good. My God. Unreal, we need to try this recipe. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So I'm gonna finish all of this and then we'll catch up for the shake, the post meal shake. Did you know that the weapons in the Mandalorian are based off of World War II guns? Didn't know that. And apparently also, in the episode called The Gunslinger, Mark Hamill voices the bartender. Another thing I didn't know. But now I do, and so do you. So that is dinner complete. It was absolutely divine. So I'll catch up with you later on when it's time to get our shake in. So Pedro Pascal enjoys a good shake, much like myself. And this is the Stroop Waffle. The Stroop Waffle protein shake from my protein. And I need to say this thing is sublime. You need to try it. Like if you have protein powder, you need to buy this one and try it. It tastes exactly like the little Stroop Waffle biscuit things. Unbelievable. That's so nice. Ugh. Hold the hair. It's not an unusual look for me. That was unreal and what a day it was today. So that is all I have for you today. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> 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 <laughs>